Good afternoon. I'm Zoe Bogan. And I'm Justice Harden. Welcome to this sports and entertainment update from the U University of Illinois. Thousands of students from Illinois and beyond are on the U of I campus this summer for dozens of camp experiences. In fact, our own student group today is part of a camp called 360 Sports and Entertainment within the College of Media. There are a variety of camps across campus all summer long. Sports camps, music camps, fire science fitness, 4-H, improv, engineering, and even a camp for students who play the harp. Most are high school and middle school students. Some are for grade school students. On the sports page today, Illini fans are still celebrating the introduction of more former athletes and coaches into the Illini Hall of Fame. 21 athletes were, and coaches were accepted into the Hall of Fame at Gala in Chicago this summer. Among the newest honorees, NBA player Darren Williams of, Cle of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Illini superstar D. Brown. Coach Lou Henson, former Chicago Bear Dick Butkus, Butk <laughs> original Bears coach George Hollis, and former Illini Red Grange, who scored six touchdowns in one game in 1923. In entertainment news, a U of I journalism student is getting ready for the Miss America pageant. Grace Katachurian is the new Miss Illinois. She'll take part in Miss America in Atlanta City in September. The U of I and Champaign-Urbana are getting ready to welcome plenty of concerts and music lovers this fall. Country music stars roll into the Champaign this fall. Chris Young brings his Losing Sleep tour to the State Farm Center in October, and Jake Owen is there in early September. The rock band Counting Crows will kick off a 25 Years in Counting concert in early September at State Farm Center. The Illini football team will open camp in early August to get ready for this fall's Big Ten season. The Illini kick off a 12-game season September 1st against the Kent State Golden Flashes at Memorial Stadium. Coach Lovey Smith hopes to improve on last season when the Illini won only two games. Illini will play a game at Chicago's Soldier Field this fall and a homecoming game against Purdue. Now let's check on your weather forecast. Good afternoon. I'm Trent Roberts with the weather. Update for this week in Champaign-Urbana. It will be a warm week with temperatures in the upper 80s and mostly sunny sky each day. For today, plenty of sunshine with a high 88. On Tuesday, there will be a 20% chance of rain, but more clouds tomorrow. The high 88 again, and on Wednesday, a bright sunshine with a high of 87. So a pretty good week. I head back to you, Justice. Well, it sounds like a nice beach weather to me. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Take the dog out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you hope to learn and see at the U of I media camp? Well, I'm hoping to see all these new students, you know, learning about what they're passionate about and, and exploring new things, you know? Yeah, definitely. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, that's it for this sports entertainment update. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day and a terrific summer. <laughs>